week's show this week we've got another painting here. Um, blimey, that came along um, the last minute. Just turned up just before we're filming and said, "You want to be on the show?" I said, "Well, why not? We always have a painting on the show, and um, why not, indeed?" And I didn't have a name for him at all. He said he had no name at all, and I said, "Well, how about Ready?" Because you are sort of red, and I'm ready to start filming. So, ready, I mean. And it sounds rather silly. That's another reason. Um, and this, anyway, so that's the painting, and uh, it's in there very quietly, and um, you can have a look at that. And this week it's all about the Cadaver Synod, which sounds rather peculiar, doesn't it sound like a sort of an exotic dessert or something like that? You won't get dished up if you went to Turkey for a holiday. But no, in actual fact, what it is, um, is uh, this bizarre, macabre incident whereby a Pope was dug up nine months after he died, and tried and sentenced in a court. It's macabre, it's weird, and it's interesting. That's why I'm going to tell you about it just this week, and this week only on the Simon Bourne Show. So anyway, yes, the Cadaver Synod. Well, just over a thousand years ago, there was a bizarre incident where Stephen, Pope Stephen the Sixth, exhumed another Pope called Formosus, who was his uh, predecessor. And he tried him for perjury and then passed sentence. How did this all come about? Well, way back then, you know, because the Vatican has only been an independent city-state since um, 1929. I think it was granted that in sort of deal by Mussolini. Um, but before that, basically, the popes had to make friends with the powerful Italian families because they were reliant on them in order to rule. So, back then, um, it made quite a bit of difference if you got on well with the, the important families in Italy. Um, unfortunately, this chap called Formosus, which I think is supposed to mean good looking, right, which is rather ironic considering he ended up as a corpse being taken into a forum. Um, but anyway, he reigned between 891 to 896 AD, right, and um, yeah, back in that time, like I said, I mean, one historian suggested that, um, it, you know, a pope back then was in, the, it was in the possession of the great Roman families, basically, and um, that was his ticket to local dominance, and they were, and they were prepared to rape, murder, and steal in order to get there. Sounds pretty macabre, right? Well, anyway, canonical law, canonical. Uh, law back there prevented a bishop from basically being in charge of two dioceses at once, um, or more than one, or any more than one at any given time. And the reason is that they just didn't want them to become too greedy or something. I don't know. But anyway, yeah, they, were, they had to be only in charge of one diocese at a time. So this guy Formosus was the bishop of Rome and the bishop. Porto at the same time, which apparently was the done thing. It was something that people sort of turned a blind eye to. But anyway, that's what he was up to, and he made many political enemies when he became the Pope, unfortunately for him, including the Spoleto family over the crowning of the Emperor of Rome. He died of natural causes in 896 AD, right? and then the Spoleto family uh, elected Stephen the Sixth Pope in May 896 AD. Now it's also the same with this guy Stephen, who was the Bishop of Rome, whilst serving two dioceses, right? But because he had um, had done that, he wanted to make it kind of annulled that ruling that you weren't allowed to be in charge of you know, any more than one diocese at once. So he came up with a cunning plan. Um, so nine months after Formosa's death, right, the synod was held. Now, synod is a gathering of very important people within the church. So a synod was held, and um, he, this guy, this Pope Stephen, Stephen, um, he gathered together a panel of sort of puppet judges, right, and I guess he probably mentioned to them that this guy, Pope Formosa, who was the previous pope was going to be trialled. And so I suppose they thought, well, yeah, okay, no problem then in Argentina. Um, but what he actually did was, he brought into the church Formosus, 
dressed up in his uh, papal vestments, um, nine months after he, would, he had died, he, he dug him up and dressed him up and brought him into the church, like that. And, I, and then propped him up upright in a chair. And then the court session began. And apparently he had a, um, a teenage deacon behind the corpse who was supposed to answer questions as Pope Stephen um, asked him questions. But because he was shouting so much and yelling at him and, and mocking his silence, the fact that he wouldn't answer the questions, apparently the deacon was so nervous he um, just sort of mumbled a few replies. Um, and this went on for much of the day, apparently, this unusual trial of a dead pope dug up and dressed up in his papal vestment. So he passed the sentence and all his acts as popes were annulled, including um, his uh, making of, I don't forget the word for it, when you make someone a bishop or whatever. And um, they chopped off th his three fingers on his right hand, the ones, I don't know, those ones, the ones that he blessed people with. He cut them off and gave him an ignominiously, ignominious burial, which I, I was going to look up in the dictionary, I didn't bother, it just, it just doesn't interest me as a word. But anyway, he gave him an ignominiously buried he was. Doesn't sound very flash, burial. Um, but anyway, yeah, so he gave him that sort of burial. And, um, yeah, I just think it's pretty weird, actually. Nine months after someone's dead, to dig them up and put them on trial like that. And yeah, so I thought it was quite interesting. I thought you might be interested in it as well. Well, anyway, that's this week's show. <coughs> um, that's this week's painting. I hope you've enjoyed the show. A uh, fairly macabre and unusual story, I must admit. But uh, it's interesting. And it's better than being bored, anyway. And I hope you enjoyed this week's painting. Because I'm getting them organised to get them on some online gallery. I'm just trying to figure out where, which online gallery, and perhaps you can suggest an online gallery to put them on, and yeah, anyway, there you go, that's this week's show, have a fantastic week, and uh, thanks a lot, and I'll see you next week, cheers.